Right, so here we go, what have we got here then? So it says find an approximate, oh god this is messy, find an approximate expression for cos theta minus a sixth pi, oof, where theta is small and in radians. So if you remember, have you done this actually? We do some small angle approximations and in the back of my mind we've done this, but I'm not 100% certain. So we have something which is small angle approximation. So just in case it's not been done, I think it has, but I can't 100% say. I would assume it has been. So if you we had like if we did, then we had things like sine theta is approximately theta, tan theta is approximately theta, but cos theta is approximately one minus a half of theta squared. So we have that. So I'm fairly sure we've done it, because I can't see it being applicable on this. Right, so let's have a look then. So I've got cos of theta minus one sixth pi. So using the formula cos a minus b, so cos of oops, a minus b is, uh, what is it, what is it? I've lost it. So it's cos a cos b plus sine a sine b. So that's the formula I'm working with. So I've got cos theta cos of pi by 6 plus sine theta sine of pi by 6. Right. Okay. So cos pi by 6 Is root 3 over 2 if I remember rightly and sine pi by 6 is a half so I'm going to use that for these here there so that's what I'm doing so cos of theta minus a sixth pi it's all algebra this it's just faffing about with algebra so it's root 3 over 2 cos theta plus a half of sine theta. Right now then, I'm going to use the small angle approximations. So now I'm going to replace theta with one minus a half theta squared. I'm going to replace sine theta with theta. So if I expand the brackets now, I'll see what we've got. There. So I just need to slightly rewrite it, because if you look, it's going up in powers of theta. So if I slightly rewrite it, quite messy, but it's just algebra. Oops, that's supposed to be a three. Whew, there we go. That's all right. There. So I'll just let you take that out a bit. So we used the cos A minus B and we also used the small angle approximations, which I'm fairly sure you've done, but in the back of my mind, I do wonder. I do wonder if you've done it. Uh, right. So look at it in the next example then, example four. So example four says solve cos of theta plus 13 is equal to sine. So I'm going to use cos a plus b. So that's cos a cos b minus sine a. B. So cos of theta plus 30, actually do what I'll do, I'll change, I'll write out the full thing. So I'll do it for this equation here. So cos theta plus 30 will be cos theta cos 30 minus sine theta 
sine 30 is equal to sine theta. So that's that bit there is that part. Right, now then, we know that sine 30 is a half. So we know that sine 30 is a half. Know that cos 30 is root 3 over 2 because they're the ones we've mainly used in all these, all these lessons, aren't they? So, what I've got here then, I've got root 3 over 2 cos theta minus half sine theta is equal to sine theta. Now, I want to solve it, I've got sines and coses, so I can rearrange for tan. So, if I take that over there, I've got root 3 over 2 cos theta is equal to one and a half lots of sine theta there. If I times through by two, I've just got root three cos theta is three sine theta there. The twos have cancelled. Now I'm going to do it as sine over cos. So I'm going to take the cos down, but I'm going to take the three down. So I've got root three over three is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So root 3 over 3, or 1 over root 3 if you want, is tan theta there. Now that gives me theta as 30 degrees. And because I'm solving between 0 and 360, I need to add on 180 and see if it's still in there. There we go. Right, I wonder if we can quit. I wonder how much of example five I can do. Because I want to leave this one for class. This is a definite in class one. So I'll see how much of this I can do, and then I'll just write the answers down. Uh, so what we got then? So we've got two tan theta is three lots of. So I'm going to use tan A minus tan B. Right, so what we've got? So I've got tan 45 minus tan theta over 1 plus tan 45 times tan theta. So that's using the formula. So 2 tan theta is 3 lots of tan 45 is 1, so I've got 1 minus tan theta. And then I've got 1 plus tan theta on the bottom. If I multiply through by 1 plus tan theta, um, I get 2 tan theta multiplied by 1 plus tan theta is equal to 3 lots of 1 plus tan theta there. So all I've done is multiply through by 1 plus tan theta because the 3 is times by it, it's not affected by it. Right, oof, what can we do then? Let's expand some brackets. So I've got 2 tan theta plus 2 tan squared theta is 3 plus 3 tan theta. So put it all together as a disguised quadratic. Take the 3 tan over. Take the 3 over. Uh, minus 3. 0. Oh, hang on. Where have I gone wrong? Ah, look, it's a minus. Here's me rushing because I'm running out of time and I'm making a mistake. Don't want to do that. That's a minus. So then that's a minus. Did you spot that? Which means that if I add on the 3, that will give me a plus 5. So that's a plus 5 there. Can't really see that, can you? Now it's like a written stamp. Uh, uh, minus 3. If I put it in poly, I get a tan theta is a half, or tan theta is minus 3. So then. The half will get me 26.6 and 206.6, and the minus 3 will get me, uh, what will I there now? It gets me minus 71.6 out, which I don't want, but I do want 108.4. I'm watching the time really clock out here, 288.4, and that's done. And I'll do that with a bit in class. So well done. See you later. Bye-bye.